What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I do new car, truck, SUV reviews on YouTube. And today we are in the new Mercedes-Benz GLS 450, courtesy of Mercedes-Benz of Hagerstown in Hagerstown, Maryland, of course. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. I am definitely quite excited to be in this GLS 450. This is the S class of SUVs, of course. It's been completely redesigned for 2020 and it looks dang good. So what do you say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so pricing for the 2020 GLS 450 will start at $75,950. And of course, with options that can go up a bit higher if you wanted it to. But nonetheless, power plant is going to come from a three liter turbocharged inline six cylinder with EQ boost, which is essentially Mercedes-Benz's hybrid assist system. Kind of gives an electric motor boost while the inline six cylinder warms up, I guess you could say. But anyways, power numbers come in at 362 horsepower, 5,500 RPM, 369 pound-feet of torque available at 1,600 RPM. Power sent to all four wheels. This is a four-matic all-wheel drive system in the GLS through a nine-speed automatic with paddle shifters, which you guys know we will be testing out in a little bit here. Zero to 60 time comes in at approximately 5.9 seconds according to Mercedes-Benz at least, but we know Mercedes-Benz tends to under-promise and over-deliver, so therefore car and driver actually clocked it at 5.5, which is pretty ridiculous for an SUV of this size. MPG numbers come in at 19 in the city, 23 on the highway, taking premium unleaded fuel. And of course you do have the Eco Start Stop system, so when you're stopped at a red light or a stop sign, the engine will shut off automatically and then turn on automatically the second you let off the brake, so it's kind of seamless there but anyways before we do any kind of acceleration test or paddle shifter test first actually did want to mention the driving modes that's going to be through mercedes-benz dynamic select system that includes eco comfort sport off-road and individual and those drive mode selections can be made by using a little toggle switch just to the left of the touchpad controller there in the middle and that's going to adjust things like the throttle response shift points electronic stability control and the damping rates as well get a little more into that when i touch on the suspension but did want to mentioned that there is additional two driving modes when you go with the e-active body control package it goes for $6,500 that's going to add a sport plus driving mode and a curve mode or what others like to call a bounce mode so that's for if you get stuck in the sand or the mud or something like that the GLS kind of bounces itself out of that situation. So it's kind of cool. I think that's kind of funny. I've seen videos on that. Anyways, having said that, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and put it in paddle shift mode here and make sure we're in sport. There we go. And here we go. Not bad. Bit ever so slight delay, actually, not too bad though. Honestly, it's pretty much as expected for an SUV, especially a three row SUV. And quite honestly, who's going to be using the paddle shifters in an SUV like this, anyways? You're more than likely going to be using them for like when it snows out here in Western Maryland. You're going to want to possibly use them for engine braking so you don't have to actually hit the brakes when you're going down a steep hill, perhaps. But there's an ever so slight delay, nothing too crazy though. But having said that, I think it is time. Let's do a quick little acceleration test and let's see how quickly we can get this new GLS 450 here up to speed. In three, two, one, go. Dang, okay. It throws you in the back of the seat. So certainly no issues with merging onto the highway. That acceleration was plenty enough and I didn't even realize I got over 60 miles per hour there. You definitely get up to speed before you even know it. It's a very smooth linear acceleration. So quite honestly, I'm kind of surprised of that smooth acceleration. A lot of times with turbocharged engines, you get a slight bit of turbo lag and then it really kicks in. But this was almost like naturally aspirated six cylinder in this acceleration. And I guess you would kind of expect that smoothness from a car like the GLS, but I wasn't expecting that because again, turbocharged engines typically don't give it to you like that. So. I'm kind of impressed that Mercedes-Benz was able to pull that off with a turbocharged inline six. So 
Well done, Mercedes. I kind of like that, especially in a car like the GLS. Very luxury-like acceleration there, but enough of the acceleration. Let's go ahead and touch on braking because braking is equally important. So up front, you will find 14.8 inch ventilated front discs in the back, 13.6 inch ventilated rear discs. As far as that 60 to zero stopping distance goes, it comes in at 113 feet, which is pretty decent for the size of this SUV, quite honestly. As far as the braking feel goes, it's been perfectly fine for me on my short test drive today, so no issues there. Touching on suspension and handling, up front, you're gonna get an independent double wishbone front suspension. In the back, independent multi-link rear suspension. And my favorite part of the GLS is the adaptive damping suspension. That really gives you the best of both worlds. So that's gonna contribute heavily towards the extreme smooth ride that I'm getting right now in the GLS 450. So what that does is it monitors each shock absorber individually, adjusting to the road conditions, again, giving you a smoother ride. But not only that, when you're going around the turns a little quicker, it is going to tighten up that suspension, giving you better handling as well. Well, hence the term best of both worlds so I love that aromatic suspension though also coming standard again contributing to that super smooth ride we have here in the GLS and that by the way is an automatic air suspension which lowers at higher speeds to improve aerodynamics but you can also manually raise and lower that by simply just pressing one button or one toggle switch really which is located kind of just behind everything here right in front of the center armrest and I'll show you guys that right now in kind of a time-lapse format because I can speed it up but it is definitely pretty cool that you're able to do that so if you know you're going on to some back roads or some gravel roads definitely feel free to go ahead and raise that suspension not that this thing doesn't have good ground clearance already quite honestly but still it's nice that it's there and it is going to give you a smoother ride so i love that there's another cool feature that i wanted to mention with the gls 450 and only mercedes beds does this kind of cool stuff car wash mode if you guys ever heard of car wash mode let me tell you about it it raises the suspension to narrow its track it also closes the sunroof and windows automatically and it suspends the rain sensing windshield wiper feature and you guys know practically all cars come with that feature these days and although it's kind of an easy thing to turn off you just turn the windshield wiper thing to a different setting but still it's nice that car wash mode can do that automatically for you one less thing you have to worry about in addition to closing the windows and all that other stuff so that is definitely a cool little feature and i think mercedes benz did a good job of actually thinking that up that's pretty darn cool i like it and like i was mentioning earlier to you guys that e-active body control feature that gets your 6500 so that counteracts lean pitch and dive it can tilt into curves as well to kind of give you better handling can and also bounce the SUV free like I was saying before if you're stuck in the mud or the sand if you live possibly in the desert I don't know but it also includes a steel undercarriage which is good for off-roading so it doesn't damage any of the undercarriage so a lot of off-road trucks will come with that kind of stuff but it's kind of cool to see it on a GLS 450 so if you plan on going off-road if you plan on maybe taking this on the beach even that might be something you may want to consider most definitely especially if you're going to like Aztec Island here in Maryland. It's something you might want to get and I love that it's offered on the GLS 450 here. But again, I've already touched on ride quality. It's absolutely amazing as expected in the GLS. Steering feels actually pretty much as expected. It's not too heavy. It's not too loose, but it's pretty much as expected for the GLS. So no issues there for me. Cabin noise, it is super quiet in here. I will say that, but again, it's as expected. This is a Mercedes-Benz luxury SUV, so you would expect a super quiet, serene cabin when you get inside. And I did want to mention, if you wanted to go above and beyond with that lack of cabin noise, there is an acoustic comfort package. It goes for $1,100. That's going to give you an acoustic laminated front windshield, acoustic laminated side glass, additional sound insulation on the interior as well. And it's also going to add the windshield and the rear window being infrared reflecting to help block the sun's rays as well. So quite a bit included in that package actually. Anyways, touching on visibility, I actually can see perfectly fine out the back. One of the cool things about the GLS 450 here is those headrests do tuck into the seats. So if those rear seats are not in use, you can tuck them down. So even better visibility there. You don't always get that with SUVs, especially three-row SUVs. So I wanted to emphasize that a little bit. Again, rain sensing windshield wipers come standard. That's always nice. Head up display is available for an additional $1,100. If you wanted that, we don't have it today so i can't show it to you guys but it is there if you wanted it though so that's always nice but that about rounds out the performance segment of this review you guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this brand new 2020 mercedes-benz gls 450. 
All right, here she is, you guys. The 2020 Mercedes-Benz GLS 450 finished in Mohave Silver Metallic. In case anybody was curious about the exterior color name there. Let's go ahead and start up front. Twin silver slat front grille will come standard. There is an illuminated star available that goes for $500 if you wanted to go that route. Chrome front bumper also comes standard to the sides. LED headlights with LED daytime running lights. It will, of course, come with the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark out at night, they will turn on automatically for you. One less thing you got to worry about there. LED fog lights also coming standard up front and a very intense, very aggressive looking front end and there goes the headlight so let's go ahead and make our way to the side on that note polished silver roof rails come standard on the gls 450 chrome window surrounds also standard rear privacy glass it's all pretty standard for the for the most part silver running boards with illumination go for 650 dollars if you wanted to go that route soft closed doors go for 550 dollars yet another option available if you wanted that body colored power adjustable side mirrors will come standard let me go ahead and get a little closer so you guys can check that out they are actually heated as well they come with led integrated turn signals and led mercedes-benz logo projectors come standard so that's going to project the mercedes-benz logo onto the ground at night not going to be able to see it during the daytime of course but that does come standard as well so that's pretty darn cool if you ask me and taking a step back looking at the wheel setup 19 inch double five spoke alloys do come standard 20 and 21 inch wheel designs are available though if you wanted to opt for a different design so then make your way to the back of the gls rear spoiler with an integrated brake light comes standard rear window wiper led tail lights as expected chrome load sill guards that's going to be found just underneath of that license plate there you can see that that actually goes for 150 dollars if you guys wanted to go with that option also tow hitch back there and just to the sides of it all dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips so do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip So but now since we are around back when it comes to opening that rear lift gate it is a power lift gate that is the standard configuration of course hands-free lift gate actually as well though so all you need to do there is just simply kick your foot underneath the rear bumper and the rear lift gate will open up automatically for you and that's of course very convenient if you have your hands full of groceries or kids or whatever so that glad that's there by the way if i haven't mentioned it already this is a three row suv the gls is a three row it's seating for six or seven so that last row the third row is going to come with seating for two always however second row can either be configured with seating for three being the bench seating or seating for two being captain's chair so you can go with either route there if you wanted anyways when it comes to cargo capacity behind that third row that comes in at 17.4 cubic feet and of course all rows do fold down if you need additional space behind that second row that comes in at 42.7 cubic feet and with all rows folded behind the first row, it comes in at 84.7 cubic feet. And by the way, all of these rear seats, they are power folding as opposed to the manual folding rear seats. So that's there for you as well. Make your way to the rear leg room though. Heated third row seats go for $360, by the way. So I do want to mention that to start. It's kind of cool. You quite often see heated second row seats, but usually you see the third row left out in three row SUVs. So I do like that the GLS included that for the third row passengers can of course find rear ventilation throughout this one you got that rear leg room for the third row comes in at 34.6 inches so for reference i'm an even six feet tall this is how much space i had back there and ultimately if you did need additional space back there you can of course move that second row forward slightly if you did have third row passengers so that'll make a little extra room for them back there as well and make our way to the second row second row leg room comes in at 41.9 inches again for reference I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had. Heated second row seats go for $580. Heated second row armrests are available. That's kind of cool if you wanted that. Executive rear seat package. I wanted to mention this one now. $3,750 is the price for that one. That actually gives you massaging second row seats. How often 
do you see that or hear about that, you always get massaging first row seats in cars like the Mercedes-Benz GLS or BMW, cars like that, but I don't think I've ever seen massaging second row seats before so your kids can get a massage in the back. That's kind of funny, and it's kind of cool to have this there, quite honestly, but heated and ventilated second row seats are going to be there as well. Second row pillow headrests are going to come with that package as well. Second row side impact airbags with that package, wireless phone charger for the rear passengers and two tablets will also come standard for those second row passengers with that package as well so that's definitely nice second row seats of course are plenty comfy as are the first row five zone climate control is available for four hundred dollars the alternative is four zone climate control so still plenty quite honestly 115 volt power outlet comes standard back there and heated and cooled second row cup holders is an additional option for $180. I wouldn't have mentioned that. That's pretty darn cool too. Make our way to the front seats. Power adjustable front seats with four-way power lumbar is the standard setup. Memory settings, again, standard. Heated front seats, Mercedes-Benz Tex upholstery, also standard. Ventilated front seats, that goes for $450. Massaging front seats goes for $1,100. And like I said, the seats are plenty adjustable. Lumbar support was perfect for me, so certainly no issues with finding my perfect driving position in the GLS. To take a look at the steering wheel, it is power tilt and telescoping. It comes with the wood leather combination for $600 if you wanted to go that route. Heated steering wheel is available for $250. 10 and 2 grips are pretty much as expected. Not as thick as a BMW, but certainly plenty fine for the GLS though. To make our way to the startup, let me first start by showing you guys the key here. Essentially, you have all your buttons located on one side of the key. Lock, unlock the button, pop the rear hatch. It is all keyless entry though, and there is a push button start. So all I'm going to do is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button just by the driver's right knee. I should mention though, if anybody was curious about the remote start, that actually comes with the Mercedes Me mobile app. So that's how you're gonna be able to start it up remotely if you download that app on your smartphone. But so anyways, once started up, there is a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster. That's the standard configuration, of course, completely customizable. You can check out so many different things up on that gauge setup. And actually to do that, you use these little square wear icons both on the left and the right side of the steering wheel gives you tons of different things there's a digital speedometer there's how many miles you have left until you hit empty outside temperature perhaps the coolest part about the gauges that i like there's an adjustment where you can change the designs and display within those gauges that's essentially going to give you a few different options including classic sport progressive and understated love that it completely changes the whole look and that's one of the beauties of having a digital gauge cluster you really can make it your own so if you weren't satisfied with a traditional gauge cluster because you can't change it you can in digital gauge clusters like on the GLS 450 here. So I love that. I'm showing that to you guys right now. That's probably my favorite part, quite honestly. But anyways, let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality now. Power sunroof does come standard. That's what you're looking at right now. Panorama roof is available if you wanted that. That goes for $1,000. Black Dynamica headliner is $1,600. Although I do like the light headliner actually that we have in this one today. Kind of lightens everything up there. Dual zone climate control comes standard. Universal garage door opener for up to three different garage doors that can be found just underneath the rear view mirror there. Walnut wood trim goes for $160. And I will actually say I like the wood trim that we have on the GLS here today. It's not a gloss wood trim. It's more of a texturized or matte wood trim. And I absolutely love that. You don't see that that often. Usually you see the gloss finishes and the downside of the gloss finishes is that sometimes the sun can reflect off of it, kind of blinding the driver while they're driving. In certain instances, not all cars do that, but some do. That's why I typically prefer the matte or the texturized finishes like we have here today. Napa leather stitch dash and door go for $1,050. That's also available if you wanted that. 64 colors of ambient lighting in typical Mercedes-Benz fashion. I absolutely love that. That comes standard, by the way, and you can adjust that using the tech display up front here. And I'll get more to that in a little bit, but I love that the ambient lighting is kind of in the center here, just surrounding the touchpad controller and all of that. I was kind of surprised to see it there, but it's really everywhere in the whole GLS here, so I love that. 
that but overall interior quality is essentially second to none it's absolutely amazing there's a wireless phone charger in front of the cup holders and again we actually have the heated and cooled cup holders here today i just noticed that so that button's located just kind of in the middle there so that's pretty darn cool there's a 12 volt power outlet up there a couple of regular phone charging ports if you didn't want to use the wireless one as well so that's pretty cool and within the center armrest you have a decent amount of storage some rubberized finishes to the bottom and yet another phone charging port there as well and there's an overhead sunglass holder actually up top here as well so overall again interior quality absolutely amazing let's now make our way to the tech display 12.3 inch color touchscreen display comes standard and although it is a touchscreen display there is a touch bag controller and a couple buttons located just behind the cup holders there so that's yet another way you can control what is on that screen and it is voice activated as well if you just say hi mercedes system actually comes on and you can tell it what you want to change or radio settings or climate control whatever it's pretty cool there too anyways bluetooth and audio streaming come standard android auto apple carplay factory navigation system comes standard there is an augmented real life video for navigation it's kind of a 3d view kind of for 300 dollars only if you wanted to go that route climate control settings you could check out up there ambient lighting like i was saying 64 different colors there and of course your radio information and by the way when it comes to the sound system get this the standard sound system is a 13 speaker burmester sound system with 590 watts nine channel digital amplifier fire dual subwoofers i am quite excited to test this one out so what do you guys say let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing this morning and let's test out the clarity of this one <laughs> love it definitely no issues with that sound system that was very 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 nice definitely perfect fit honestly for the gls 450 and there's always crazier sound systems out there that go for thousands of dollars but certainly no issues whatsoever with that burmester sound system in the gls here but so anyways last thing i wanted to mention to you guys on that tech display at least is when you do put the gls in reverse you of course will find a rear view camera with dynamic grid lines but not only that a surround view monitor also comes standard on the GLS 450. Love that. A lot of times that's an option, so that's why I emphasize that. But nonetheless, as always, that is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, front side, side curtain airbags do come standard. Also a driver's knee airbag up front. In the back, you're going to have latch, aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Tire pressure monitoring system comes standard. Auto dimming rear view mirror and driver's side mirror. That's something that doesn't always come standard, so I emphasize that. Driver attention monitor, adaptive high beam assist, crosswind assist, blind spot monitoring system, active parking assist, which is where the car parks itself. I love that feature in Mercedes-Benz. It's one of the best renditions of automated parking, quite honestly, if not the best. Essentially allows you to pick a parking spot, whether it be parallel parking or in a regular parking lot. And then it asks you whether you want to back in or pull in. And the car does all the work. It steers it, it brakes it, hits the gas, all that stuff to put you perfectly in a parking spot. I love that. Also pre-safe sound comes standard. That essentially alerts you to pay attention if it feels a collision is likely and there is also an optional package for this one a driver assistance package plus that goes for $2,250 that includes adaptive cruise control evasive steering assist automatic emergency braking speed limit recognition lane keep assist lane change assist and semi-autonomous driving and so in the end, quite honestly, you guys, I'm not sure it gets much better than the GLS 450 at this price point for what this car is because it gives you an insanely smooth ride and you're always going to get that when you have the adaptive damping suspension and the air suspension put together. So I love that. Ambient lighting is amazing in Mercedes-Benz. I always say this whenever I see a Mercedes-Benz, they have the very best ambient lighting of any other manufacturer out there. So I love that. Gauges are completely customizable. I love that as well. That is definitely something you don't always see. Overall, an insanely solid pick here in the GLS 450, quite honestly. Still can't get over how freakishly smooth this ride is. Absolutely love that. So definitely, if you were in the market for a high-end luxury SUV with three rows, this is definitely one you want to check out. And that about rounds out this review, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you like. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.